Okay. I, I gotta change the button that starts and stops the recording because I keep hitting that accidentally. Um, what I was saying was there is... Uh, I don't even know where the other one left off, but the source dot attributes names, values, gets, it transfers the data from the attributes uh, with that name to the values variable. And this is the point data of that specific uh, vertex group. Then VG2 and destination dot keys. Ah, all right. So this is because the vertex groups of the destination is not in the same order as the vertex groups in the or yeah the vertex groups or the attributes in the uh, source model. Uh, I have to go and search for it. Um, once I find it, I store it in index 2, uh, and then I exit out this loop. And I have to do, do this for each uh, vertex group. Um, storing some data of index 2. And here is where I uh, where I assign each point um, in each vertex group the value of the attribute that's stored on the ge uh, geonodes group. New vertex add group, which is this right here, it's a variable based on that, add, p is right here from the loop, and this only goes if the value inside that is not equal to zero. That, it changes everything, because here, if I don't have this, it, you know, it adds in the point to the vertex group for every single point, regardless of what its value is. All right, so there's, you know, 19,000 points and 100 vertex groups, so there's 1.9 million different executions of this command. Uh, it was taking about 30 seconds. Uh, I had this in, and it cut, down, cut it down to like one, one second. Still much slower than um, I would like it to be. But it functions, it allows the vertex groups to function in 3.4 and onwards until, from what they were saying, the reason they made the design decision to break vertex groups for geometry nodes is uh, because they're going to someday add in all the stuff directly into geometry nodes. But in the meantime, they want it broken. It, it's a very bizarre logic. Um, they don't, <laughs> so many people are like, but you, you, you broke it. Why did you break it now? Well, you, it was not supposed to work. Uh, but, but it does. And it works fine without any bugs or errors. Why break it? Like, it works just fine. Just leave it alone. Well, no, we don't want you using it. Uh... Yes, but I was. I've already got it using it in production. Why are you wanting to break it? But it still works in 3, well, 3.2 beta. It worked. I don't know if it works in 3.2 uh, uh, released. But from my understanding, it, they added in a single line of code somewhere in 3.3 that breaks it. But... If you want to, uh, you know, transfer vertex groups from a geometry nodes model to be able to use it, because uh, I have to do it for rigging, and I have to do it for hair, because uh, 
like if I try to add in the curves here, um, it it bugs out. Like it says uh, something about the UV map is broken or whatnot. But the let's see how many how many points are on this one? Seventy five thousand. So I can show you the rig. Select the rig. Pose mode. It is a little bit slower than I believe it's slower than when I had it in there. And I've got the automatic fix, automatically fixes that, but the fix is not real time in this model. It's actually the fix is on the source. So I'd have to ha run the, uh, the script again every time I change the model to get the, the fix working. The other solution would be to copy disable it here and enable it on the destination that way it'd go real time. But that's neither here nor there. I just want to show how to copy vertex groups. Anyway, have fun until next time.